Hey, what's up guys? Today's gonna be a speed learning uh, experience where we are going to basically take you through some interior visualization steps using some traditional medium like markers and pens mixed with some digital medium of Photoshop. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you inside. So I'm really excited about this one because uh, I get to go back to my roots a little bit, do some drawing and doing some uh, some marker work, which I, I love doing. And I grew up with a sketchbook and pencils and stuff. And I just love the traditional side of things. So maybe you're a traditionalist like that, um, who's uh, looking to maybe put a little bit more polish on your work. And therefore, we're going to be doing some digital work at the end of this to show you how to take that traditional work of the markers and pens and then give it that next extra little polish. Or you might be coming from the digital side and you're looking to maybe make your designs a little less stiff with some more organic drawing that happens before the the, the digital stuff happens, like before your 3D model or before your, your, your digital sketch. Um, maybe just try some traditional stuff. Um, but anyways, we're going to condense the entire process that we use, which was about two to three hours, down into one single minute, um, where you're going to see like a speed lesson on how we how, how we use all of this together um, so it's gonna be exciting uh, if you want go ahead and check out the markers and pens that we use there's some links below that where you can get these I love these these are Copics um, and the pen and the markers work really well together otherwise we have the Photoshop document that we used for this specific project where you can kind of pick through and look at all the layers and all the tricks and tips that we used inside of that document all right guys without further ado sit back relax and let's get started all right, guys, so to start with here, we're going to dive into some really quick, loose perspective, just drawing in general shapes for what I'm trying to accomplish here. Um, on top, after the shapes, we're going to dive into actually just some like textures, you know, just making a lot of lines, making a lot of mistakes, and that helps to with the actual flow of the uh, of the overall piece. Um, just giving it that organic feeling. Now we're just adding enough tone here to kind of give us a, some building blocks to work with in Photoshop, okay? So just general ideas, the light, where the light's coming from, the darkness. Um, and then inside of Photoshop, you can see how quickly things progress, okay? We're adding quick um, tonal, like we're just changing the light of the entire scene, first of all, and then we can really manipulate where the light's gonna be the strongest and where it's gonna be the darkest. We can also balance it out very smoothly and evenly as well as add to the design. And here we're just gonna add that extra little detail to push the image into final. All right guys, I told you it was gonna be a quick one. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you're walking away with more of an understanding of how the process could work for you. Uh, if you did want to figure out how to do this yourself, again, the markers and the pens are, are below. If you want to see more step by step about this stuff, just leave a comment below. It'd be great to, to hear about what you're thinking right now. Um, the Photoshop document is below so you can pick through that and see what we did there. Um, and then that's about it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care.